Alrighty guys, it is Qua Man here today, and I'm back with another episode of Dragon Ball Z Universe. I'm sorry guys, I know I've been away for a while, but I've finally gotten settled in, and I will be off for three and a half months, guys. So, don't worry, no more long hiatuses without videos, guys. I'm completely free. And I'm very excited to be quite honest with you, like with all the things that, you know, I'll be able to do this summer. I know a lot of you have been waiting patient, but... In this video, it looks like we're going to be taking on some Cell Juniors. And if you guys actually like go back for a quick second and check, like it said that we're going to fight six. But I find that kind of funny because there was actually seven in the series. And for those of you who don't know, little fun fact, in the, in the anime, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan actually kills eight Cell Juniors. I've seen that scene enough. It's actually my favorite scene of all time. If I ever do a top ten... You know, uh, favorite moments or top 10 moments of Dragon Ball Z. To be honest with you guys, I always think that one will definitely be at the top of the list. Because quite frankly, guys, I mean, Cell G like Gohan killing Cell Juniors was such an awesome moment. But I got a little bit of, uh, you know, discussion for you as we're on the topic of Cell Juniors. I always wanted to ask you guys, do you guys think Goku could have taken out a Cell Junior had he been healthy? I personally think based off of Goku's performance against Cell and considering the fact that Vegeta and Trunks were on par with Cell Juniors and they're considerably weaker than Goku, I think that they would have been able to, I'm sorry, but Goku would have been able to take out a Cell Junior considering, you know, Vegeta and Trunks held their own and they're weaker than him. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> it looks like Yamcha's being destroyed over here, so I have to help him. Tien's not doing so good either. Alright, special beam cannon. Took out the first villain in the series and none after, unfortunately. <laughs> so I guess this is without Android 16. <laughs> Alright guys, so... I mean, to be honest with you guys, I've known about the evil Go uh, Super Saiyan 2 team Gohan for months because, I mean, I'm s when I mean months, I mean months before Xenoverse came out. And quite frankly, guys, I mean, the thing is, Dino actually told me about this like in like probably October of 2014. And he told me about this, and, and quite frankly, guys, I've always kind of had a problem with it, because if Gohan, you know, could obviously turn evil because of uh, Toa's magic, then why didn't she make Super Saiyan Goku on Namek evil? And wouldn't it have made sense for Gohan to be more sadistic towards Cell? You know, I mean, in my honest opinion, I would think that Gohan would, like, kill Cell in, like, two seconds, you know, considering the fact that, you know... You know, being evil would obviously make him a lot more aggressive. But that's just my honest opinion. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. Alright, Soul Juniors. You guys are getting kind of annoying now. Kind of just ganging up on me. Time to go Super Saiyan. Hmm. Alright. Got that Soul Junior out. Oh, he's still alive. Alright. Alright, took out that Soul Junior. Ah. By the way, for those of you who are curious, I've been playing Xenoverse a lot with duct tape. I've been actually training him a lot, and he's like really enjoying the game. And we're gonna do a, a parallel quest series together after this. But I will resume my Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2 playthrough as soon as I'm done with my Xenoverse playthrough. And it's not gonna take that long, guys, because quite frankly, I'm gonna be uploading a lot more. So I hope you guys enjoy all of this. All right. Now, it looks like Gohan's getting a little sadistic there, but really, guys, he's not much different from what he was originally, but I'll be right back. Well, well, looks like we got the deadly duo again. Nothing seems to be going our way. I wonder, is that Goku's son? No, but I'm Kwa, man. You again, huh? So annoying. He barely lifted a finger, and yet, I can sense his inner... Oh yeah, you're gonna get it, buddy. I think it's time to harvest. 
Your energy will be off. Finally, Trunks shows you up. You won't have your way! Huh? Guys, you know what I find so funny about Super Saiyans? Nah, I just thought about this as I saw Trunks turn Super Saiyan. Which has motivated me to turn Super Saiyan myself. Trunks? Is that... What are you doing here? If you really think about it, in, in what I from what I've seen in the Japanese, the English... Stop. You know, I've seen some dubs of Dragon Ball Z in like Portuguese and a bunch of different other languages. It seems like the Super Saiyan, like, noise is always the same. Like, the ch 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 like that energy surging noise is always the same. Like, in any dub, everything. It's just, like, that's like the official, like, noise of the Super Saiyan. Everybody in Dragon Ball Z knows what the Super Saiyan is supposed to sound like. <laughs> and I've always found that so funny, like... You would think that there would be some variations, but from the ones I've seen, they've all been the same. If you guys have any other dubs that I don't know about, that I don't, you know, you know, you know, that have like a different noise for Super Saiyan, please tell me, because I'm very curious, because that's like the same generic noise. Alright. Do not disappoint me. This guy kind of reminds me of 16 in a weird way, the way he speaks. Even though 16 didn't show up in this, and... Gohan went Super Saiyan 2 because of uh, Toa's magic. Ah. Alright, Mira. You're pissing me off, buddy. The energy is not bad. What the? Our attacks aren't working? I know they're connecting. <laughs> ah, Trunks. Stubborn as ever, Trunks. Actually, Cell said that for Gohan, not, not Trunks. You are as stubborn as ever, Gohan. That was always one of my favorite lines in the series. Like, he just said it, like, so confidently. Alright, let's see if I can get one more. Ah, uh, yes, I got him. Alright, so we took out Mira, and I'll be right back. Alright, so looks like we took out Mr. Blue. I'm blue, if I was green, I would die. If you guys know that song. He's still hiding some of his full power. I'm here, Mira. That'll be all. Let's retreat for today. What's wrong, Gohan? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you scared at my return? We're done here. This is going to be most interesting. <laughs> we'll have to settle it later. <laughs> Bye. Damn. They got away. So tell me, what happened to Gohan? We should probably go back. Alright, so guys, I have a lot to say. I've kind of, you know, kept my word so I wouldn't interfere with the cutscene, but... If Gohan, you know, went Super Saiyan 2 because of Mira's magic, don't you think at least some part of him would have been able to retain it? I just don't see how... To I'm sorry, Toa's magic. I keep saying Mira. How Toa's magic completely like just drained him out of Super Saiyan 2. That just doesn't make any sense to me. I would think he would have at least some of it, you know, don't you think? But I don't know, guys. That's just me. And quite frankly, guys, I mean, if we're talking about this realistically, if I was if I didn't come up to save Gohan, he wouldn't have stood a chance, considering the fact that, you know, Gohan wasn't even stronger than regular Perfect Cell. He wouldn't have stood a chance against Super Perfect Cell. And I'm assuming, you know, 16 wasn't around and, you know, I don't know. They just kind of ignored the plot. And I don't know. And Goku still had to sacrifice himself because Gohan was cocky. Even though that doesn't make sense. Because Gohan, obviously, should have been a lot more aggressive in the situation. That's just me. 
can't be too picky, but the plot, I mean, it just doesn't make sense that he would run out of Super Saiyan 2, because, I mean, it's still his power, you know? You don't just flip it out, but, you know what, I, that's what the comment section is for. The comment section is for you guys to just note some things that you want to say, you know? And that's what I love about it. Alright. Dragon Ball Nation has really given me some good tips. Alright. Ah! Alright, you got me, Cell. You knocked me away. Come on, let's see if I get him. Yes! Instant special beam cannon. And two Super Saiyans fighting side by side. So now he's a Super Saiyan 2 again? <laughs> I kind of have a problem with this, guys, to be quite honest with you. But, I mean, that's just my opinion, guys. I just don't see how he just flips on Super Saiyan 2 in that moment. And was Vegeta even there? I don't know. I mean, it looks like Gohan killed Cell on his own. But, I mean, an even stronger Cell. But... Wait, if Vegeta's in... Tien's hands then Gohan did beat him by himself because he would have been around to you know show him up but anyways guys it looks like this concludes this episode here I hope you guys enjoyed and most importantly everything else please remember to rate comment and subscribe remember as I always say to have a great day guys